Hey guys, today we are going to look at simple probability and complements. We're going to answer the question, what is probability, simple events, and complements, and how can they be determined and represented? So probability is the likelihood of an event happening expressed as a number between 0 and 1. And there's a few ways we can express this number. Probability can be written as a fraction or a ratio a decimal or a percent. So it's going to be a number between zero and one. So if you get zero for your pro probability, that means it's impossible. If you get between zero and one half, like one fourth, then it is unlikely, but it could still happen. If you get one half, that means it's equally likely to happen or not happen. If you get between one half and one, so three fourths, then it is more likely to happen than not. And if you get one, then it is certain to happen. So simple probability is the favorable outcomes over the total amount of outcomes. And it is represented by that P and then the parentheses. So a simple event is when one event is happening. The probability of a simple event happening is called simple probability. It is the ratio of the favorable outcomes to the total number of outcomes. So when you're finding the simple probability, you will determine how many favorable outcomes there are and then divide it by the total number of outcomes. And then the complement is represented by the P and the apostrophe, and that means not, that little apostrophe. So a complement is the probability of the event that is not occurring. And whenever we combine the simple probability and the complement, they will have a sum of one, because we're saying what are the favorable and what are the not favorable, and those will total to be one. So let's look at this one right here. We are going to determine the simple probability and the complement of rolling a three or four on a die. So let's do the simple probability first. So I am finding the probability of a three or a four on a die. So a die has six sides, and if I roll a three or a four, that is two out of the six sides, which is one third. So the probability of rolling a three or a four is one third. And then the complement is of that not happening. So we would represent that by P not three or four. So if we're not rolling a three or a four, we are rolling one of the four other sides, four of the other six sides. And four over six simplifies to two thirds. And then we could check that we did this correctly. Remember the probability and its complement should sum to one. So one third plus two thirds is one. So that represents the favorable outcomes, the probability, and the complement represents the not favorable outcomes or not possible outcomes. Okay, let's look at number one. It says, what is the probability of rolling a four on a die? Probability of a four. So there is one side on a die that is a four and there are six total sides. So the probability would be one out of six. Number two says, what is the probability of rolling an even number on a die? So we're trying to find the probability of an even number on a die. So on a die, there's sides one, two, three, four, five, six. So the even numbers would be two, four, or six. So that means three out of the six sides are even, which simplifies to one half. So one out of two times is the probability of rolling an even number on a die. And number three says, what is the probability of rolling a number other than a one or a two on a die? So we're finding the complement of a one or a two. So one and two, those are two sides of the die. That means I would have four other sides that I could roll that would not be a one or a two out of the six total sides. And that simplifies to two thirds. Okay, let's look at number four. It says, Daisy spins the spinner. What is the probability she lands on A? So the probability of A. 
Well, there's one, two, three, four sections that she could land on in total, and A is just one of them. So she would have a probability of one out of four of landing on the A with that spinner. And then B says, what is the probability she lands on a letter other than B or C? So we're finding the complement of B or C. So if she lands on B or C, that's two of them. Or sorry, if she does not land on B or C, that means she's going to land on A or D. So that's two out of the four sections she could land on that would not be B or C. And two out of four simplifies to one half. Okay, number five says the table shows the number of animals in the most visited exhibits at the zoo. So there's 12 flamingos, six crocodiles, two elephants, and 10 monkeys. An animal is randomly selected to be fed in front of an audience. It says, what is the probability that it will be a flamingo? So remember to find the probability it has to be out of the total outcomes. And I don't have the total of all of the animals yet. So let's go ahead and figure out the total of all of the animals by adding them together. So we would do 12 plus 6, which is 18, plus 2, which is 20, plus 10, which is 30. So there's 30 total animals. And 12 of them are flamingos. So 12 out of 30 would be the probability of a flamingo randomly being selected. And now I just need to simplify this. Those numbers are both divisible by 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2, and 30 divided by 6 is 5. So 2 out of 5 chances that the animal being selected will be a flamingo. And then B says, what is the probability that the animal selected will not be an elephant? So there's only two elephants, so that means that not being an elephant has 28 out of 30 chances, because if we just take away the two elephants, there's 28 animals left out of the 30 total. And 28 and 30 are both divisible by two, so I'm gonna simplify that to 14 over 15. So there's a 14 out of 15 chance that the probability of the animal selected will not be an elephant. And then last one, true or false, a flamingo is twice as likely to be picked as a crocodile. So we already found the probability of a flamingo. It was two out of five. I'll do pink for the flamingo. It was two out of five. Now I need to find the probability for the crocodile. And I'll use green for the crocodile. So there are six crocodiles. So that means the crocodile has a six out of 30 chance of being selected. Those numbers are both divisible by six. Six divided by six is one and 30 divided by six is five. So a flamingo has a two out of five chance versus the crocodile has a one out of five chance. So this is true. The flamingo would be twice as likely to be selected as the crocodile. All right, last one, number six, says the table shows the different book genres Ray has on his bookshelf. He will randomly pick a book to read, determine if the statements are true or false. So the first thing I want to do is figure out the total number of books he has so that I can compare these different probabilities. So he has six sci-fi books and 12 mystery books and 24 fiction books. So six plus 12 is 18 and then 18 plus 24 is 42. So he has 42 books in total. So let's look at this first statement. Ray is twice as likely to pick a mystery book versus a sci-fi book. So mystery books, he has 12. So 12 out of 42. Those numbers are both divisible by 6. So that would be 6 out of, sorry, 12 divided by 6 is 2. And then 42 divided by 6 is 7. So mystery books is 2 out of 7. And then sci-fi books, he has six sci-fi books out of his 42 total. 
and both of those numbers are divisible by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 42 divided by 6 is 7. So it says Ray is twice as likely to pick a mystery book, which was 2 out of 7 probability, versus a sci-fi book, which is 1 out of 7 prob probability. So that is true. And then the last one, Ray is three times as likely to pick a fiction book versus a mystery book. So we already found the probability of a mystery book in the last problem. It was two out of seven. Now let's find the probability of a fiction book. A fiction book would be 24 out of the 42 books. 24 and 42 are both divisible by 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4, and 42 divided by 6 is 7. So the fiction book is 4 out of 7 probability, and the mystery book is 2 out of 7 probability. So that is twice as likely, but not three times as likely. So that is false.